Hey there, Internet. It's Trace Dominguez again here for Test 2 Plus. It's a show where we take massive topics and we try and break them down into little nuggets of knowledge. We're going to have a podcast kind of feel here, so feel free to put in your headphones and listen to me in the background. I will not be offended. I've got my notes on my computer, and uh, today we are talking about genes. Not like your Uncle Gene or, you know, Eugene Levy, but the genes inside of your body. So what are genes, and why do they matter? The idea of genes originated with Darwin, believe it or not. It's the idea of... uh, kind of heredity and being passed down from person to person or organism to organism. But a gene itself is kind of, I don't know, in my mind, I always thought of it as kind of like, I don't know, it looked like a little bean or something. I don't know why I thought that. But it's a tiny bit of biological material. It's made of DNA, can be turned on and off. I mean, my general understanding of what a gene was is actually pretty basic prior to the research doing to do this video, which is impressive because I've been on DNews for so long and I've never actually dug into what a gene is. And they are incredible and there's a lot of research on them, but there's still huge gaps in the knowledge on what a gene does. A gene is, again, a tiny piece of DNA. They live inside of chromosomes. They control lots of stuff inside of your body. Essentially, a gene is a general word for a piece of DNA that creates a protein. Proteins are a general word for an organic molecule of amino acids that builds everything in your body from structural components of body tissues such as muscle and hair and collagen to enzymes and antibodies. Essentially, genes create or determine everything that you're made of. But if they make everything, what makes genes, right? Genes are literally made of DNA, DNA bases, A, T, G, C, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. And the genes are just runs of DNA that are inside of your cells. So genes can range in length from just a few hundred DNA base pairs to more than two million for the complicated ones. They live right inside of your chromosomes, which are inside of your nucleus of your cell. Uh, Chromosomes sort of look like kind of puffy X's, like X's wearing hammer pants. Uh, 23 chromosomes come from each parent cell, so you'd have 23 chromosomes in a sperm cell, 23 chromosomes in an egg cell, and when they come together, you get 46 chromosomes, which is how you make a tiny human. And it's also how we get genetic variation. Once those 46 meet up and they start creating a person, the variation in those genes is going to help making a new person good or different or varied rather than just a clone of its parents. So in bacteria, divide, they're essentially just a clone. Humans could do that. I mean, we can't literally do that. But if we did that, it would actually harm us or it would diminish us, to use a better word maybe. Sex is better than mitosis because it creates this variation. And our genes and the variation in those genes makes us stronger as a species. Now, all that being said, genes and DNA also exist outside of the cell nucleus and outside of those chromosomes and in mitochondrial DNA. Now, inside of the cell, the nucleus is there, and there's also like the endoplasmic reticulum and all of these other structures. But mitochondria also exist within the cell, and there's actually some theories that it was a the a bacteria that broke into the cell and ended up living there at some point ages and ages and ages ago but they have their own DNA and their own genes. Uh, We'll come back to that in a minute. So knowing all that about genes, how many do we have? The Human Genome Project estimated that humans have between 20,000 and 25,000 genes. The Human Genome Project took the human DNA and sequenced it, or essentially looked at every piece of it to try and figure out what it all does. And in doing that, they found out that genes are actually pretty much the same from person to person. Everyone has similar genes with just slight variations. And of our DNA, 99% of it from person to person is pretty much the same. Your liver is my liver. Our hair is made of the same stuff. But 1% of that DNA accounts for all of our variation. All the different colors and shapes of every human on the planet is just within that 1% of our genes. That 1% is pretty powerful. And knowing all of that, and knowing that genes live inside of our chromosomes, they're part of our DNA, they're part of who we are, 
what can they do? This was just generally an overview of what genes are, but what they do, that's a whole nother story. So you'll have to come back tomorrow for that. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to join all five of these videos for this week. We're gonna talk about genes all week here on Test 2 Plus. So thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.